Okay. So, the first thing to make note of is that while you can see some land that you think you might be able to take a break on in the distance, you are about a half a day's journey away. Probably like, like, like from there, because the, like that, that was like the 10 mile point. So a little less than half a day's journey away from like your halfway point. Because 30 miles on foot is like a full day's travel. <clears throat> um, and you guys are in a canoe. None of you have any experience with um, a a aquatic vehicles. Um, so you will, like, like, you get into the canoe and it's like, at this point you're relying on athletics with the oars to be able to, like, push yourselves and, like, be able to, like, catch any, like, like there's not really much, like, wind to be able to catch on the sails to be able to go the way you want. Who is trying to paddle in the canoe? Uh, duh. I have a question. I have an answer. I have the ability control air and water. It says starting at third level, you can cast the gust of wind spell with this trait. Oh. Is there something we can make a, a, a sail out of? It comes with a sail. Can I gust of wind us to get there faster? Yes, you can. Yeah, with a gust of wind spell, you can definitely use that to be able to get you there faster. Um, you will probably still need to take a break. Um, but with the gust of wind, oof, you probably get there in half a day. I mean, we can still be able to push your sails. Yeah, we could still be paddling to, you know, steer. Mm -hmm. You know, as we go along, so. Perfect. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Does it come with the oars, like, on either side? With yeah. the little thing where you can just sit in the bench and just pull it? Yep. Oh, yeah. Oh, I love rowing workouts. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> Gonna get a nice burn today. And probably a nice sunburn, too. <laughs> yeah, probably. It doesn't look like there's anything casting any shade out there. How many points did you say we got at the beginning of the session? Because I apparently was spaced the frick out. Ten. Okay. Oh, I on. didn't add anything to my thing either. I just wanted to get it saved. I wasn't. I've been, That's on I've been... our points card? Yep. Okay. I just keep track of it in the quantity spot. Yeah. And on the, and on the card itself. I edit the card itself just for both. Oh. Anyway. Well, look at you, Mr. Fancy Pants. Uh, I've got... <laughs> Uh, I, I'm an old hand at this uh, cleaning crew thing. <laughs> and I'm a newbie. Probably have the better chance. So. <laughs> um, where you land, it's almost like another like beached spot. You see what appears to be a large tent. Um, but it appears to be like empty. Like like you can see the openings from both sides, and it looks just completely empty. Except for the tent set up. On the far end, you see this, like, huge lighthouse that is shining this bright light. Um, and the light is, like, not um, stationary like that. It is, like, kind of, like, rotating. Across the water, um, a, a fair stretch away, but still much closer, um, you can see what appears to be... Like, this giant, like, single, single like, mushroom structure um, with all of these, like, holes and canals. And just beyond it, what appears to be, like, a forest made of, um, like, purple mushrooms. 
So I think we have to go into the purple mushroom forest. That's where the fibrous material is going to be. But maybe we can uh, take a break and sleep here on the beach and uh, go deal with that when we're fresh. Certainly ought to check out this uh, tent structure here and see if there's anybody home. And I'll make the yeah. oh small. I'll use the word. Yeah, it collapses back into like a pearl box. Okay, and I'll just put it in, in my bag or something. Oh, I love it. So cool. Um, now, can we tell if like this camp, like was there somebody here recently? You said it's empty, so like it, does it look like maybe whoever was here is going to return soon, or...? That is the strange thing about it. Like, you don't see a campfire. You don't see anything set up for, like, seating or anything like that. It's just the tent. Is the tent a mimic? <laughs> I don't trust anything anymore. <laughs> I poke it with my long sword. Does not try to eat you. Oh, it's not a mimic. Thank God. Thank goodness. Thank Jesus. <laughs> I don't know why we're thinking it, but... You're wrong. Um, there's nothing special about the tent. Like, you walk through it, or, like, kind of, like, poke it and, like, look inside. Like, there's nothing inside... The ground is bare. It's kind of like a large tent, like, um, where, like, the, the ground is still, like, um, like, like, the, the sand. Um, and, yeah, there's no, no trace of anybody there. Can I, um, investigate the lighthouse? Sure. It's uh, a, a ways away. Um, but um, if the group, like, like, are you all going as a group or are you, like, leaving them behind? I don't know what they want to do. I would like to check out the lighthouse before deeming this tent as a safe place to settle. Yeah, I'm down for checking out the lighthouse. Okay. Do, 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 do. Um, you approach this beautiful, um, tall lighthouse. It looks like there's a building attached to the bottom of it, like, uh, like a, like a house-like structure. Um, approaching, you see that the light that shines at the top, it, it's very, very bright. Um, and it, it again, is like doing like kind of like a rotation and spinning, um, and shining this bright light, um, in like a, in a, uh, almost like a, uh, a, uh, what's the word for it? Um, like a windmill rotation. Um, there are... Occasionally, in the distance, you catch, like, these birds that you can see in the picture. But again, they don't look like regular-sized, like, seagulls. Like, they look like giant birds. Um, and it's just, like, the perspective. Like, they're small because they're so far away. But they look like, if you, like, like look closer to the north, that they're just kind of, like, doing loops around. Um, and you're catching them in the distance there. Um, you are getting a, like, immediately as you get closer, you're getting, like, that faint, uh, feeling of magic. 
Um, but it doesn't, it, like, there's nobody around otherwise. I, I would go try to knock on the door. Uh, you knock on the door and there's no immediate answer. Hello? Is anybody there? You hear, wank. Are we able to open the door? Uh, it appears to be locked. Hi, uh, sorry, person inside, um, uh, let me think. I, can I try speaking in different languages? I mean, I can. I'm gonna just try to say, like, do you understand this in the four different languages I speak? All you get back from behind the door is wham. I have a set of thieves tools, which includes a set of lock picks. And also a small mirror mounted on a metal handle. Is that something I could use to, like, maybe look under the crack of the door to see what was quacking like a duck and potentially unlock the door? Sure. Um, with, with the mirror, you think you see, um, like, kind of, like, um, like duck feet? Okay. Um, and, uh, like, if you're trying to unlock the door, go ahead and roll a thief's tools. Uh, on your character sheet. Under the tools? Would uh, it be a standard roll or? It'd be, or... yeah, standard roll. Uh, nothing's happening when I click on that. On these tools? You... Oh, if I click use, it comes up. That makes sense. Um, now it says I'm proficient. Does that mean I roll with advantage or? No, no, no. It'll apply your proficiency. Just normal? Yeah. Oh, okay, perfect. Yeah, you it, it's a standard lock. There's nothing magical about it. You, you you turn it and open it and open the door and you see like it there's like this cozy like um like almost like cabin like living room. Uh like like there's like a little fireplace and there's like some kind of seating and then there's like a little like almost like immediate kitchen. Um and you see like standing behind the doorway is a duck with what appears to be, like, a wizard hat? I think we've interrupted his spellcasting, guys. It just looks at you and goes, wank, wank, wank. <laughs> um, oh, he's adorable. It, I go to pet him. Come here, uh, little fella. If you, you, you go to pet him, um, everybody is going to need to roll a dexterity saving throw. Ouch. As Ned the Duck casts Fireball. Uh, if, the, if you failed the save, you take 32. Uh, and if you succeeded, you take uh, 17? 18? 18? I am unconscious. I'm pretty sure we all are. <laughs> well, cleaning crew too was fun, guys. <laughs> Taken out by a duck. <laughs> Did that take out everybody? I don't think you said what the DC was. It was. 16. I got a seventeen. It was sixteen. Oh, Narissa might have survived. You can see it in the spell casting there. I got a 17. 17? I'm going to use my inspiration and re-roll. <laughs> yeah. Sorry, half a 16. That's... 
17 makes it. So, Nerissa and Jesus, you take 16 damage. Nope. Still took the full damage. Yeah. Okay. Brunk and, uh, Brunk and Aaron take, uh, 32. I'm um, down anyways. The front of, like, like the, the front of this cabin just explodes out at you as this duck cast fireball. Nerissa, you, like, like, everybody, like, just, like, collapses. You being, like, the only one, like, barely standing here, it looks and says... You are intruding on Toman's lighthouse. Who told you that you could come here? Wah, wah, wah. I am so, so sorry for intruding. We were trying to to just see if anyone was here. We're, we were stranded on the island and we're looking for help. I'm so sorry. Stranded? But where from? Yeah, our... Our ship crashed, and it, it, we we ended up having to get around to here. We're looking for materials to fix our ship. Um, from behind the duck uh, appears what appears like what appears to be like a frog man, uh, who looks and says, "Oh my, Ned, what have you done?" He's like, "There were intruders." He like scoops up Ned, and he uh like puts a little potion into each of your mouths um and it'll bring you back up with, with full hit points um he restores your health and he's like oh i'm so sorry i'm so sorry please drink this this should restore you uh i, I please don't mind ned he's a little bit cautious um i am toman um, and he's, like, trying to, like, he's, like, help you up without, like, touching your skin. Uh, like, he's trying to, like, grab you by your, by your clothes and, like, just trying to, like, 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 help to hoist you up. Like, please, please stand. Please, I am so sorry. Thank you. Thank you so much. I'm sorry, Toman, was it? Uh, yes. It's lovely to meet you, Toman. I love your, your cape as well. Uh, he, he nods and says, uh, thank you, that, that the kind words are appreciated. Sorry, did you say he gave us something that healed us? Yeah, everybody can, like, restore their hit points back to full. Um, okay. As he gives you, like, the, the, this, this powerful potion. Uh, and apologizing, he's like, please, please, uh, Ned has a bit of a short fuse, like, you don't speak for me. It's like, the, so don't worry about him. He's like kind of like hovering his beak. He's like, welcome to the lighthouse. Um, since the barrier has gone up, uh, I am I, I was originally a familiar for a wizard, a powerful wizard, also named Toman. Uh, I took up his name when he disappeared behind the barrier. Um, along with my comrade ned here we have protected our master's lighthouse uh while he is away do you know where the barrier came from um if legend would have it uh correctly it was the seven heroes uh who sacrificed themselves to become the barrier to keep out a threat from uh, waters abroad. What kind of threat? Oh, well, it's a. Probably fireball casting ducks. <laughs> Um, Very so, formidable fireball casting. <laughs> he looks and he says, "No, it was uh, well, it was the the Quintons, the Quinton monarchy. Uh, they were from a uh, oh, where was that place? Dominion. I believe it, it, they were from the continent called Dominion. Um." A very powerful family. 
uh, waged war and, and tried to send uh, monsters to get to the royal families uh, to protect them uh, the, the, the heroes of legend created a barrier uh, around the main part of the island and unfortunately some sections weren't able to uh, make it inside Do I know, have I ever heard of Dominion or do I know anything about it? You've heard whispers of the Quentin monarchy. You've heard, like, whispers of Dominion, but almost like fairy tales, like rumors. Like, um, there is, like, a poem told to children uh, about the Shadow King. Um, like, to beware the grasp of the Shadow King, um, who, uh, who reigns over Dominion. Um, but, like, that's it. Like, it, there's not nothing of any kind of significance that you would know about it. So the fact that, like, that's who came and put up this barrier is almost like if somebody said a dragon came and burned down their village or something. It's just like... Well, it'd be like... I mean, I, do you remember... Like, like, it's a weird reference to make, but uh, have you ever, like, seen the Marvel movies like avengers and things like that yeah yeah so um it, it was tony's idea of putting um a shield around the world like it was like a fail safe to be able to protect the island is rather it, 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 they would rather shield them from the rest of the world and keep them disconnected from the rest of the world than allow something that evil to be able to get inside yeah, I guess I'm just saying, like, the fact that it was specifically the Quentin monarchy is sort of like hearing, like, something, make, you know, because, like you said, they're spoken of almost like a fairy tale. Like, we don't, or do we know that they actually, like, it's not, I guess, is it sort of like unnerving that it was them specifically that did this versus just that it was done in general? Um, I mean, like, it's, so there was a great war. Um,. Like, Dominion is a, is a known place, but there's not much known about it. Okay. Um, there was a great war, but again, like, at this point in history, like, that was, like, maybe, like, a hundred plus years back. Um, you're in the age where, like, especially, like, where you come from, Mercana, um, is, like, in this boom of magically created, like, Arcana technology. Um, so... Um, it's kind of like in the space we are now, like if you asked kids about something that happened a hundred years ago, they'd have absolutely no idea. Mm -hmm. Um, with like, you, like, it, once you get back that you may be able to do more research and learn more. Um, but like with your current knowledge, it's kind of like exactly just that, like fairy tales about the Quentin monarchy and the Shadow King and like that connection to Dominion, but that's about it. Okay. Okay, um, Ty, I just want to, I'm just taking notes. Yeah. I love a good lore dump. Um, Tommen ushers you inside. He's like, please, welcome again. I apologize for Ned. Um, he welcomes you into, like, that kind of, like, main, like, living space where there's, like, um, it, you can see now that there is, like, this nice fireplace, but there is, like, a pot of something that appears to be, like, hung inside over the fire to be cooking. Um, and once you actually step inside, you get that smell of, like, nice, like, um, spiced fish. Um, uh, Toman looks and says, are you hungry? Uh, I, we were preparing a meal, uh, well before you arrived. Uh, the soup can last for a long time, so, I mean, this lasts us for... Uh, a, a little bit. We're more than happy to share. Um, and Ned goes, Mwah, speak for yourself. Um, we would love some, well, at least I would. We have, um, exploding coconuts or mananuts as we've been calling them. I don't know if you guys like them, but we have a couple we're willing to share with you. Man and oh, I like that. That's a good name for that. Um, these are, are they started growing um, in in abundance on those trees close to the barrier. Um, 
We haven't really done much with them. We knew that they blew up. We, we, we've we been using them to deter uh, people who've been trying, like, you know, if somebody came to attack. Um, the birds, the you know, the giant birds, every now and then they come in to try and get our our, 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 um, our fish um, when, when we're fishing, and uh, we use those nuts to scare them off. Oh, they're delicious, and they make you feel very invigorated. I have an idea about a way to open them without them exploding, but... Anyway, we're happy to share. Um, Ned polymorphs into a crab, like a giant crab, like the ones that you've seen, um, and grabs one of the coconuts and, like, cracks it in its claw. I assume it does not explode. It does not explode. Um. Oh. Yeah, I... now, now that you're through it, go ahead and taste it. It is delicious. You're going to love it. You're absolutely gonna love it, Ned. Uh, the, 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 he, like, turns back into a duck and, like, starts eating, and he's like, oh, this is, this is delicious. This is delicious. You, you, you discovered this? Yeah. He's like, Toman, why did we never think to try and eat them? This is amazing. Um, and he, like, like, like just, like, starts, like, shredding into it with his beak there's like little bits of like coconut flesh and fucking like coconut juice like just going everywhere Toman is like much more polite he has like pulled like a little fork from out of nowhere and is like taking like little bites of like the coconut flesh says, oh yes this is quite exquisite um so thank you very much for the tip please um here is a bowl uh there's a ladle um that uh just rests and, and hangs uh on the hook there please go, go ahead and serve some soup um there are uh, special uh, special like fish that grow around here that are quite large um and and full of just uh delicious meat um and please uh, uh, enjoy have a, a little bit of sustenance Thank you so much. Um, I have a question. Yeah. If I eat the fish, is it cannibalism? I mean, that's up for you to decide. Can I just ask him to crack one of my coconuts open instead of partaking in the soup? Sure. <laughs> Please don't be offended, but, you know... Since I'm, and I like point at my fin, I might just have some of the coconut. The soup does smell amazing, though. Would you be able to help me open it? <laughs> Ned turns back into a crab. He's like, I can only do so many times of like, like this before I go to sleep. How many people want their coconuts cracked? I'll do it now. <laughs> I'm good, thanks. Cracks another one for oh. you. Thank you so much. Um, Toman just kind of shakes his head and, like, Ned goes back to eating the coconut as a crab. Um, and Toman just, like, sits on top of him and, like, is also eating the coconut while just, like, just sitting on top of this giant crab. He looks and he says, uh, I only gained consciousness a fair recent time ago after the barrier came up. Um, getting into a little bit of the magics that, uh, that were in this place. Um, I don't know where my master is gone. I think he is inside the barrier somewhere. Um, Probably. I can answer any questions that you may have about what we know about the immediate, uh, area. Uh, there are, um, I'm sure you've seen the mushroom forest, uh, on the island, um, there are some very, fairly pleasant druids there, as long as you don't disturb any of their, um, any of their, uh, I guess, I guess, uh, holy sites. Um, they have, like, many holy, um, altars and areas that, uh, if you disturb them, they get fairly hostile. Um, but otherwise, if you don't disturb their peace, they're, they're, they're quite, uh, friendly. Are the holy sites clearly marked because we need some fibrous materials and we don't want to go collect from somewhere and that turns out to be a holy spot 
um, if they are marked, uh, they're marked with things that they would recognize. But uh, I, I just steer clear. Okay. Um, and there's, there's, uh, I've seen other people roaming around. I, I try to stay inside, but when we uh, go to fish, there does appear to be a, a, a dwarf uh, and and a girl. Um, that also kind of take up their boats on the other side, uh, of the waters there. Also, I, I, am assuming trying to fish for, for food. Um, but I don't know where they take up residence. Oh, would you guys be opposed to us spending the night here? And then in the morning we can sort of get on with what we need to do. Um, after an exchange of goods, I would say that would call us friends, and, uh, I'd say, uh, there's more than enough room here that, uh, you can stay for the night. Uh, just please do not explore the upper levels, um, and, um, please, I, don't, do not take anything, uh, they are not mine to give. That's fair. Um, he'll, like, uh, he, like, he gets through the, the coconut, um, and also ends up having, like, a little bit of the soup along with Ned. They have, like, their own little bowls. Um, it is, uh, it's, it's, like, midday close to evening, so, um, they would probably pull out some kind of like um like some games some simple games like card games or dice games uh just to kind of keep everybody entertained um he would ask like 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 he would he would ask about each of you if you have any like interesting details to tell um that you want you would want to openly tell somebody that you just met um he would be interested in any, and like, like as you tell a little bit about yourselves, it seems like he's genuinely interested to hear more about people. Um, and you get a very, like, uh, he, it seems like Ned and Toman have each other, but there is that void of the, 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 uh, the, the wizard master missing, um, there. Like, they, they, there's like that, that feeling of like loneliness or emptiness from them that there's just a piece of them that is not there with them. Um, but they still seem to, like, keep good spirits. Um, Toman is very well-spoken. Um, and both of them seem to be fairly, um, accomplished spellcasters. Um, Toman says, like, he does have the power to heal. He actually, like, um, has spent time working on alchemy, um, and learning how to make, like, those powerful potions. Like, you know, it takes a fair bit of magic and takes a fair bit of time, but, um, they're useful in a pinch. Um, uh, he will, like, you won't sleep in, like, the living room. He does lead you to the first couple floors of the lighthouse, which do appear to be, like, multiple bedrooms. Um, from the appearance around, like, as you walk up the stairs, there are, like, pictures on the walls. Um, and some of them appear to be of, like, you can see Toman, but he is not, like, in the wizard garb. He's just, like, this little frog. Uh, and you see Ned as this little duck, uh, and both of them are in, um, this wizard's hands on each side, and this wizard with, like, this, like, long, like, flowing, uh, gray beard, um, with a big smile on his face. Um, the image itself, it seems to be, like, made of magic, so it's not quite, like, a, a picture, it seems to be, like, a slightly moving picture, um, like, made, like, with, like, just, like, this continual magic. Um, and you can see he's kind of, like, lifting them both up. It's, it might be, like, the, the picture of, like, when he first got them. With this, like, big smile on his face. Like, with this one missing tooth. Um, and, uh, it's it just, like, just, like, this happy moment with them. Um, and, like, the, there's other pictures of, like, it's the same person. You can see, like, the duck now rests on his shoulder and the frog just kind of, like, hangs out, um, like, uh, in the picture. And you see, like, him with, like, a group of adventurers and if you go, like, you further up, um, you see, like, there's another picture as you get to the first set of bedrooms that is, like, him with, like, another group of adventurers. Um, there does appear to be simple gear in some of these rooms, like, uh, um, 
like bed rolls and um, like simple weapons. Like there's like a couple staffs on the wall uh, in some of the rooms. Maybe like a dagger here or there. Um, it does appear like adventurers did occupy these spaces at one point in time. Um, and they provide you these like separate rooms to be able to rest and sleep in for the night. Um, and even to accommodate you, Nerissa, um, they help you to get the tank upstairs so that you can like move around on the floor. Um, there is like kind of like a, a like a, a cleaning quarters, like a washroom um, that you'll be able to use. Um, and there is also like like for you, Nerissa, I was saying uh, for for the room they pull out uh, the bed. They're like, if you need a bed to sleep on, we'll keep it here. Uh, so that if you need to move it in, but it, like, seems like you probably rest in your tank. So, like, you can just, like, enjoy the accommodations of having, like, a private room. Thank you so much. That is so thoughtful of you. Um, if you need anything else, you can, yeah, just yell out Toman. I will, I'll find my way here. Um, and, uh, yeah. Other than that, uh, there's not really much I, I think we can do. If you have any questions, uh, let us know. And again, please please stay out of the upper levels. Uh, and otherwise, you have a great night. Well, I would show them my slime. They'd probably be interested in the slimes. Oh, yeah, they'd check out the slimes. They'd be like, oh, are these, are these your familiars? Yeah, sort of. Oh, well, th that's wonderful. Um, it, it seems like they have a little bit of sentience of their own. Do they speak? No, I, I don't think so. Um, they all kind of like crawl, especially over Ned, um, because he's like, it seems like his magic is much more potent. They like crawl all over Ned, um, and give him a lot of attention. And he's like pretending that he doesn't like it, but he's also like nuzzling into them. He's like, ah, you little bastards. <laughs> Um, he's like, oh, uh, um, do they require any food or sustenance? And you see as, like, some of them will start, like, crawling around and start, like, cleaning up, like, the dust that is clearly accumulated in the place. I think they're pretty self-sufficient. Oh, yeah, that, that's, that, that, that is, that is fantastic. Uh, I haven't been able to find the broom, I'm sorry. No problem. Um, I'm sure the slimes are happy to help. <laughs> yeah, they seem like kind of cheery. Your slimes just kind of go off on their own little mission of like scouring and cleaning um, the tower. Um, I'll they... tell Idris not to go upstairs. <laughs> not to take anything. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Tomin and Ned to like kind of like retire to their own rooms. You do see like their rooms are also in the upper floors. Um, they kind of disappear and, and leave you to your own devices in the tower. Um, in the morning, we should ask them about magic of sources. They might know. They're magically inclined. That's exactly what I was thinking. I have a feeling that whatever's powering the lighthouse might be a magical source. Maybe they know where we can find another one. Hopefully. We keep befriending all these people with magical sources and can't take it. Um, well, uh, Aaron will retire to her room and chill. Does everyone just go to bed, or does anybody... First of all, I guess the first question is, does anybody actually get curious and try to go upstairs against the wishes of the two familiars? I'm not interested in getting fireballed by a duck again. I am curious. How old is Tobin? Um, did you ask, Toman? Yeah. Hey, Toman, how old are you? Um, he'd say by my count, um, probably, 
a little over 85. That's pretty old for a familiar. Or a frog. Or a familiar frog. Uh, I mean... I assumed that... You aren't a normal familiar, though, are you? I was. But then you, like... Became humanoid? Is that the right word? I was... Awakened. Were you, like, mutated or something? I think so. Cool. It's like, I woke, I woke up like this. Uh, you, and... you weren't a ninja once, were you? No. I was just, you can, he points to the pictures and he's like, I, I was just once a happy little frog. I guess I'm still happy. Uh, I, 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 this is different. Oh, I was about to ask you if you were not happy anymore. Uh, I miss, I miss my, I, I miss my master. I think he would be very intrigued by my appearance now. He's always very curious and inquisitive. Think he's still alive inside that barrier? I think if I'm still alive outside of the barrier, then there's a better chance that he's alive inside still as well. Oh, you think you'd die if he died? I think I would feel that he died. What about Ned? Is Ned your familiar? No, uh, Ned was also a familiar of our master. He had two familiars? He had several. Um, there was um, Dottie, who was his hawk. Um, she was with him uh, inside the barrier when it went up. Um, and there was uh, Sir Squiggles, uh, that was a snake familiar, uh, that unfortunately um, was snatched up by one of the local birds of prey. One of you familiars got ate by a bird. Unfortunately. Ouch. Still, though, he must have been super powerful if he had multiple familiars, right? I've only ever seen in Wizards of One familiar. He was truly a wonderful being to behold. And so kind and wise. He took great care of us. Um, Aaron, in your room, give me a perception check. Thirteen. On a thirteen... You look and see that there's a bunch of kind of, like, mundane-looking books. They'd be the equiv equivalent of, like, gossip magazines, but, like, just, like, gossip about, like, royalty and stuff like that, like, written down. Like, just, like, just, like, royalty. Um, but there is a paper looking at the books that appears to stand out. It appears to be a page ripped from another book that has been tucked inside. And... Hold on one second here. Do, 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 do. Where... Oh. Yeah, you guys are NPCs now. Well, not you guys, but the, the other guys. Uh, 
um there is just like for most like uh like um classic books especially the name of the book is written at the bottom uh and it says the seven knights of Ethereos. um the page that you see is names written in common And it looks to be as if it was some kind of historical record. Uh, bah, 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 where are you? PCs. Aaron Mithnadel inventory. Can you clarify, is that Knights with a K or Knights with an N? Uh, K. Knights with a K. Okay. Okay. Oh, so I have charms in my inventory. I do not know where they came from. Uh, yeah, they were free charms given away uh, because of the absence. I, I put them on oh. everybody's character sheets last week. Okay, cool. Um, and yeah, you also have the, the crab claw badge there. Okay, yeah, I saw, I noticed uh, you had mentioned that one, but I just wanted to make sure I didn't accidentally get something on my sheet that was meant for somebody else. Um, this page has, like, kind of, like, a colorful script at the top that, like, kind of, like, divides each of these names and this bit of information. Um, and it looks like it probably would have been the first page of, like, a bunch of pages that would, like, detail each of them. Like, it looks like kind of like a glossary beforehand. Okay. Um, if you, it's already on your, your character sheet. Um, there are seven Knights of Ethereos. It is this page. You can go ahead and read those off. Okay, um, Lotharius the Galliant, he's a human, uh, he's a dragon, uh, silver, and it, the name is Barajas, I don't know the, what, oh, the, maybe that's the dragon's name, I don't know, uh, Rhaegar the Forgotten Blade is a drow elf, so has a dragon, a deep dragon named Varric. Barracks of Thistlebog is a gnome. Uh, there is a yin dragon named Shade. Uh, Arakis of Thistlebog, probably siblings. Blue haired twin of Barracks. There we go. Oh, there we go. The green haired twin. Okay, one has green hair, one has blue haired. Uh, his dragon is Yang. Uh, uh, he's a Yang dragon named Shine. Uh, Ma Makala, the Moon Sage, is a star elf. Uh, a Moonstone dragon named Whisper. Uh, Zelia, the uh, immor immortal monarch, is a star elf. But pro I, apparently not siblings, or if so, it's not listed. Uh, they have a solar dragon named Scaret, Skardkesh, and Throg the Bone Grinder is an orc who has a red dragon named Lothraxis. Um, you think back, um, to the picture, um, that you were coming up and, like, it was, like, the wizard with a bunch of different adventurers... Um, and in one picture, there is a, a group of him and about four people, and two of them appear to be gnomes with blue and green hair. Did we see, like, a drow elf in any of them, or an orc, or...? Um, in the picture, it is the wizard, the twins, um, a human, and, um, what appears to be, like, a, like, a, a strangely dressed elf. Okay. I'm gonna, because they said specifically not to take anything, I'm going to copy this down. Like, I'm sure I have paper and a pen. I am a diplomat. Yep. And so I am going to copy this information down. Um, so I have it. I want to look, so, but I can't find the actual Seven Knights of Ethereos. 
No, the book isn't oh. there. It's just the page. Okay. Very interesting. Yeah, I'm gonna go... So we saw all the pictures, but we... I mean, I guess there's more pictures potentially upstairs that we... Maybe. Yeah, it, like, from the way, like, it's decorated, it looks like it, like, goes all the way up the staircase that there's these pictures that, like, line the walls. Okay. Um... I am trying to see if there is a way... So, here's the thing. I can do a couple things because I noticed these charms in my inventory. I have a ghost charm, which would make me become a ghost for a minute. Um, and so I could theoretically float and look around and come back. Um, and I have a shadow meld charm. Um, Oh, but that's for a creature's shadow. And I can merge into their shadows. Okay. Um, I think for now, she's going to try to get in her bed. Um, and then if she, I think it's, she's going to keep thinking about it. Um, I feel like she wants to get, like, an opinion from somebody, but I don't even know who in her party she would ask. I'm going to just roll a d3 and see. Three. Okay. Um, she is going to knock on Brunk's door. And she is... Yeah, so she just knocks on his door. Uh, 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 uh. Hello, good morning. Are you... Were you sleeping? Yeah, a little bit. Hey, cool. Can I come in? very quickly uh this will be quick sure sure okay. okay uh so um i found something uh well it's uh it's a page out of a book and it had names have you heard of the seven knights of ethereal it doesn't matter anyway i think the wizard of this tower was associated with them I'm positive he was associated with two of them I think there were two more that I seen in the picture anyway I think if I potentially go upstairs I could see but they said we shouldn't I shouldn't right like I shouldn't turn into a ghostly form and go up there that would be bad correct uh you, you said a lot of words really fast there. Um, I don't... Oh, you're welcome. Um, you said something about knights. Didn't somebody tell us a story about them or something? Uh, DM, did somebody tell us a story about knights? Oh. Uh, I, I, I think, like, the, the knights have been briefly mentioned now by Anthos as well as um, Barnabas. Okay, uh, okay. Oh, they. So we did know that there were seven powerful people who helped. Wait, I actually wrote this in my notes. That's like uh, the reason the barrier. They made the barrier, right? Uh, I think. Yes. Okay, the barrier is composed of ancient magic. It took seven powerful warriors and seven powerful dragons and a combined sacrifice to create it. Uh, so. Yeah. Uh, it was probably them. Right? That makes sense. They all had dragons. I wrote it down. Do you want to take a look? She'll shove the paper in his face. I don't really read. Um, okay. Uh, usually people... 
people usually like read and I just listen. Uh, okay. But, uh, Do you want you, me to read the names too? She just but, starts reading off the names of the dragons. Uh, no, hold on. Time out. Okay. Uh, mm -hmm. You said you wanted to go upstairs. Why don't you just ask, like, nicely? But, like, Toman, not the damn duck. Don't ask the duck. Okay. Do not ask the duck. All they said is they didn't want us to go upstairs. They didn't want us to take anything upstairs, right? No, they don't, don't... want us to go upstairs or take anything. There's two things. Oh. So, so I put the page back that I found. So, like, how long can you do the ghost thing? Uh, a minute. But only one time? Only one time. So that means you can get up there, but you're going to have to jump out a window or something to get down without them seeing you? Or, or getting I fireballed just, by an angry duck? Or I could just go up and come back down, and I just want to look at the pictures. But that's a good point. A minute's really not that long of a time. Yeah. Might take you a whole minute just to get up there. Yeah, and I really don't want to piss them off. They've been really nice. Well, except for when they killed us. But uh, uh, they've been uh, really nice. Was I dead? I think so. I, I died? Hey, shoulder guy, did I die? Shoulder guy? Where are you at? I, I'm sorry if I... That, that was probably um, a job. He must not be awake yet either. Yeah, well, I mean, it's only, like, 10 p.m., but it's good that you go to sleep early. Um, okay, I am... Hey, I'm, I'm, a, gonna... I'm an athlete. I need my rest. Eight yeah. hours of sleep is important. Definitely. I get uh, four hours, so, yeah, eight is... I gotta get up in the morning and do my calisthenics and stuff. I mean, I got my exercise yesterday because I did rowing. all the rowing. Yeah. But I'm gonna have to get up in the morning and do my exercises and stuff, so... Yeah, I heard rowing's really good for your back and core. Uh, yeah. 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 I mean, I've got the whole slip disc thing, so I don't need that yeah. thing causing me, like, pain and stuff. Uh, okay. Well, get some stretches in there, do some yoga or something. I think I'm just yeah. gonna ask... Tommen about the nights. Sounds uh, like an idea. Not about going upstairs. I'm going to mention the picture that I saw from downstairs and just ask him and not yeah. be not be terrible. And if he's shady, then who knows? Talk to him peer to peer. I'll talk to him peer to peer. Well, Thank you. I apologize for waking you up. I promise I will not do it again for eight hours, unless there's wow. an emergency. Sounds good. It's and... nice chatting with you. Yeah. Oh, yeah. You too. Uh, sorry to let you know that you, I think you died, but it's, it's fine. <laughs> and she will um, go... I'll have to go talk to the shoulder guy about that. Yeah. She'll go to Tommen's room and knock on the door. <laughs> Um, so Tom and Zoom are in the, like, upper, like, like, they went upstairs, so you'd surmise that their rooms are in the upper floors, but you wouldn't Oh, so know. we can't go up there anyway. Yeah. Oh, Because okay. if you go, if, well, you, if you go up to their rooms, you're breaking the rule. Okay. All right, well, I'm, I'm really going to try not to break this rule tonight. I am going to just try to trance and not think about it and trance. Okay. Um. Jesus. You have a hard time sleeping. Um. You keep seeing the face of that red dragon. Again and again repeating the same words. Free me. Free me. Free me. Um, you feel a searing heat that when you wake up and kind of like that cold sweat, you realize is just the residual feeling of that heat from the fireball explosion. Um, almost like as if you were sunburned. Um, the repeated kind of like nightmare of this dragon just like demanding to be freed is the thing that you kind of see and feel all night. Um, b 
drunk. You you you've been woken up by Aaron. Um trying to go back to sleep and get your beauty rest. You feel something underneath the mattress in your room. What? Is it moving or is it is it alive or inanimate? It's, it's not moving. It seems to be inanimate. Uh, well, I'll take a look and see what it is. I'm going to grab my sword first, though. Because... I'm sick of getting blown up by things. Um, you reach underneath and you pull out what appears to be an intricate gold puzzle made of, like, probably, like, close to, like, 60 sliding pieces. Okay. Not good with puzzles. <laughs> if somebody left this for me, they left it in the wrong room. But I'll start messing with it randomly. Okay. Like, just totally on, like, just... Like, I wouldn't even call it an intelligence roll if it was going to be... Uh, if there was going to be a roll involved. I would call it, like, wisdom or just... just I, I don't know wisdom maybe like I'm just I'm just fiddling with it yeah go, go ahead and give me a sleight of hand okay just normal just normal huh? <laughs> oh brunk brunk that's hilarious that is hilarious oh my god <laughs> I gave you good luck by coming into your room, waking you up. Brunk, You're welcome. Brunk, we're gonna come back to you. Oh. <laughs> I have a feeling this is gonna be really bad. I thought it was gonna take, like, weeks for you guys to solve that puzzle box. Fuck. <laughs> I mean, it doesn't have to be solved right away. Uh, on a natural 20? Uh, the, 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 that's what, like, in my head it was like, you're, you'd have to roll a fucking natty light just to fucking figure this out if you're not using Arcana. And you, you hit it. You hit it, <laughs> sir. Um. So we'll come back to you. Nerissa. In your room. You are like like you're kind of like kind of resting amongst these like glowing little crystals. And you're woken up to them kind of blinking in a weird sequence. Just like blink 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 blink. What is it, Tim? What is it, boy? Timmy's stuck in the well. Your slime is kind of like swimming around you and like looking down, kind of like like eyes following the light. What is going on? You can go ahead and roll. Uh, it's up to you. You can roll an Arcana or um, an Investigation. I'm going to do Investigation because I have a plus five. Just a normal? Yep. Yeah. 22 Investigation. You're looking at these blinking lights back and forth, and knowing thieves can't, you know codes. Like, you know, like, he's speaking in codes. This isn't thieves can't, but this is a coded message. You're not quite sure what language it's translating from, but it looks like it's a coded message that is being transmitted through that is getting, like, picked up by your crystals. Okay. Can I tell, like, what language it might be in? It's not one that you're familiar with. Thinking about the languages you know and kind of, like, trying to, like, translate the blinking lights to, like, as if it was kind of, like, uh, Morse code or something like that. Like, you can't, you, you can't seem to translate anything that would be reasonable 
words. Can I try to knock on Aaron's door? Sure. And see if it might be a language that she knows? Or if she could... I don't know. This seems like something that might be up your alley, Aaron. So I, like, wheel over there and I, like, pop in the door. You, like, get one knock in and she has opened the door. <laughs> hey. How's it going? Good morning. I, I need you to check something out. Sure. And I, like, push my way in and I, like, just close the door behind me and shut off the light so she can see, like, the crystals. Oh, oh, okay. Uh, all look. right. Look, look, look what they're doing. Oh, they are blinking. They're blinking. Yeah, they're no, blinking? it's some sort of code. Look, there's like a pattern to it. Huh. I, uh, I don't know what language it is, but I know it's a coded message of some sort. All right. Uh, DM, can I, um, is it in a language that I know? This is not, is, this is not blinking in any, again, same thing, like going through the languages that you know, um, it's not translating into anything that is like reasonable. Could it be like a spell that it's blinking in? You know how like spells aren't real words? Could I do a magic check? Go ahead and roll an Arcana, Arcana check. Oh, yeah, baby. <laughs> Very nice. Um, the, as you're like kind of, it, first of all, you're kind of on the right track. It does appear to be a translation, not of a spell, but it's almost like somebody is, like somebody's not trying to cast the spell. They're trying to like record or note the spell down. That much you can get from the from the the light patterns and kind of like like it appears to be a message. The reason why it can't be translated into like real words is like maybe because like some of the words might be in a language that you don't understand, but other words like just are out of place or maybe they're like kind of short form worded. Um, you think that one of the words is shard, but without an a. Like, it, like, if it was a word, it, it's shard. Um, there's one, uh, but it's not, like, right next to it. Like, it's, like, within a sequence of words um, where you get rune. Um, and uh, another one uh, that you get dragon. But those are the only, like, three words you can get out of, like, a whole sequence uh, of, of different words um, from the blinking lights. Um, okay, so I think... That somebody is trying to record maybe a spell or maybe it's a ritual or something. Uh, so, oh. yeah, a lot of the times when you're saying a spell or doing something like that, you don't use necessarily real words or all words okay. in the same language. It's just, you know, sometimes you come up with something just to help you remember. And that's how you can. Well, mostly wizards. I just have it inside of me, but whatever. Um, and the only words I think I recognized were dragon, rune, dragon. and shard. Oh. Hey, didn't didn't the we we were hearing about a, a dragon recently? And have you heard of, anything about? Oh. Oh well, I found this paper with a list of the. Uh, Knights of uh, the Seven Knights of uh, Therios and their dragons. So I have Ooh. their names. I just wrote it down so I didn't take the page. The wizard from this tower definitely knew two of them. And there are two that I think he knew. Um, but um, the rest I can't tell. I don't know if you saw that picture. There was a picture of the wizard and he was there with two little gnomes, one with blue hair, yeah. one with green hair. Yeah, two of those were. Yeah, I like the hair a lot. Yeah, so, um, but I don't know. They had dragons, right? They all and had wait, dragons. How, how many of them did you say there were? Seven. Seven people do you and think seven those are, Do you think those are the seven heroes or whatever that made the oh, barrier? For sure. For sure. Well, I mean, I'm oh. like 99.999% sure. What if what if whatever my my crystals are picking up on has to do with the barrier? 
like maybe somebody inside the barrier is trying to do some kind of spell and if your crystals are i don't maybe know picking up on it like a like it's a spray radio frequency you know yeah yeah maybe they have oh. a similar frequency because of the magic from the barrier and the magic from maybe it's what's help making these crystals glow it could be huh weird freaking island that we ended up on. Didn't Jesus say he was seeing something about a dragon? Is that red dragon that was captured uh, in the crab cave is projecting things into his mind. Wasn't that guy a dragon, DM? Yeah, the the, the, the thing inside the crystal was like a, dra a red dragon born. Wasn't it like was a full a dragon, dragon it looked born. like a red dragon born, like a dragon man. Yeah, so he's a red dragon born. Maybe that's what that's what I assume is happening, is that guy in the crystal is projecting things into Jesus' brain. I wonder if that's tied to whatever my crystals are picking up on, and whatever this barrier is made of. We can, we can ask. I do not recommend going back in Brunk's room. He was not pleased that I woke him up the first time, and I mm -hmm. promised him yeah, I no, would that not wake him up. To sleep. That's what he told me, especially after the rose. Mm -hmm. He said, um, I said I wouldn't wake him up unless it was an emergency for eight hours. So, mm -hmm. I mean, no, that, you that's can wake him I, up. Oh, no, no, no. I, said no, I, I would wouldn't. never. I would but, never. We but, should maybe see how Jesus is doing, though, because I'm really concerned about this dragon guy that's, you know, projecting stuff into his mind. Yeah, sure. Why not? Let's go. Let's go. <laughs> you, you, Hopefully it's not too late, but I'm I'm knocking anyway. <laughs> Jesus, there's a knock at your door. Uh, come in. <clears throat> Hi, were you asleep? Uh, been tossing and turning. Okay, well we're here to talk. Oh, is um, are you still getting uh disturbing images from that chained up red dragonborn that was inside that crystal? Yeah, I've still been uh, getting images of him asking, asking me to release him. Uh, you're, you're not seeing a dragonborn, you're seeing like a full-on dragon. Okay, can you, sorry. Can you speak back to this thing in your head? Like, what if you, have you tried asking it what its name is, who is it, why it's in your head, like things like that? No, I haven't tried communicating with it. Are we sure that's safe? Do you feel comfortable communicating with it? Yeah, I feel comfortable uh, communicating with it. Well, the next time you have this projection in your head, maybe just ask it what its name is. That's pretty innocuous. Like, I don't think you should flat out say, hey, I'm not... I'm not going to do that, but um, it might be helpful. Maybe we can get some information from it. Yeah, yeah. No, next time it uh, projects into my head, I'll uh, ask what its name is to try to get some information from it. We cut back to you, Brunk, as these three are, like, discussing the dragon dreams and and the thing sorry um uh aaron do you show the paper to your team as well yeah i would show them not the original page because i put that back but yeah. the one that i wrote down i would show them yep um what when you're showing them with you with, like jesus with the dragon image especially um all three of you i need you to roll a history check Ugh. Nerissa, a 10 would give you enough. Um, Nerissa, you're the only one that really remembers that Anthos was the one that warned you guys about the dragon in the crystal, and the name that he's, he gave you for the dragonborn in the crystal was Lothraxus. Oh, Lothraxus! That, that's the guy's name! 
that that oh, was that's... Throg's but that was the name of Throg's dragon. He was a dragon, not a dragon born. On that revelation, we cut back to Brunk, who in your bed, you are like back and forth like 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 thumbing and playing with like these puzzle pieces and sliding them into place um as soon as the final like piece is like slid into place and clicks in it begins to twist and turn and convert into what appears to be this golden egg that as soon as it forms fully into the egg and smooths out it's like all the pieces click and turn into like just one smooth surface they crack around like a smooth like just a ring around and pop up with this golden light and out of that appears like a small elf like sprite with a tiny star tiara um that like yawns and wakes up and spreads these tiny wings um and uh that is where we will end session for tonight I think, okay, so That's I just have to say, I think that it's freaking, what is her name? The star, uh, the, maybe it's Zelia, the immortal monarch, because uh, even though there's two star elves, she had a solar dragon, but we'll see, I guess. <laughs> um... I guess we'll see. So that's where we'll end tonight. Tomorrow we're back with uh, more Oops All Bards, but we're doing a What If um, episode because we are going to be missing a player. Um, so I think I'm going to throw them into a Cleaning Crew Season 1 scenario. Maybe we'll see. You didn't hear that, Brunk. Um, <laughs> um, but we'll be back at it tomorrow with, with more D&D uh, &D shenanigans. Uh, and then we'll be... Uh, so next week... Well, uh, next week is the blah, blah, blah. next week's the 14th. We are good for next week. But on the 21st, um, Ellie is doing a comedy show. It's the 21st. Yes. Um, so yeah. we're, we're, we're going to be off on the 21st and we're also going to be off on the 28th because we're going to a Ren fair. So we're off the last two weeks of September. We'll be doing regular session next week. And then after that, the session after that will be the fifth. Um, I on the 21st anyway so it worked out perfect so yeah I, I figured a good heads up now um and for anyone at home who's watching there won't be uh, any episodes for those weeks so you know go watch old episodes or watch something else <laughs> uh, but we'll be back tomorrow with a what if oops all bards episode um of course monday uh, uh is um land of the lost corsair um on talking with adam's stream on wednesday we've got tiny punk 2077 that seems to be wrapping up fairly soon uh, as they just completed their jailbreak. Uh, and on uh, Thursday, it is Lost Minds of Fandelver over on Kirby's stream. Um, Twitch.tv forward slash Kerbathia. Um, one last thing to note is that um, we are officially um, uh, under the Frendo RPG uh, for cleaning crew going forward. So I am going to put that branding on there, our, our Frendo RPG uh, branding on there as Cleaning Crew is now a, a friendo RPG game, um, rest in pepperonis to Arena. Uh, and I uh, hope that, you know, stuff works out for them. Um, but yeah, that's it. Thanks to everybody who tuned in. Love every single one of you. Hope you have a wonderful day, afternoon, or evening, wherever you are. And as always, power the players. Have a great night.